such an amazing show, and we are so thrilled to present the cast of Cobra Kai. Please help me welcome them to Liverpool, starting with Sholo Maraduena. He's fired up, Liverpool. Give it up for Mary Mauser. Yes, ma'am. Next up, we have Tanner Buchanan. for Annalisa Cochran! Yes! And next up we have Paul Walter Hauser! Stingray in the house, ladies and gentlemen! And last but not least, please help me welcome the birthday girl, Miss Hannah Campbell! Looking fabulous, everybody. Thank you guys so much for being here. Give it up one more time for them. Yeah. Yeah, did you really not? Just a couple yeah, quick yeah. questions for me. First of all, happy birthday, Hannah. Everyone give her a round of applause. <laughs> we are so thrilled that you could spend your birthday with us here in Liverpool, looking gorgeous as always. And what an amazing cast. We all love Cobra Kai. A couple questions for me, then we're going to take it to the fans because they're so excited to talk to you guys. And as you can see, they're already lined up. Some of them are already in Cobra Kai cosplay. Give them a round of applause. There's so many of them here at the con that I've seen. They put so much effort and passion into their cosplay. But birthday girl, Miss Hannah, we'll start with you. How have you been enjoying Liverpool Comic Con so far? Oh, Liverpool's wonderful. Everyone is so nice, and we're really having a good time. Yeah. Paul, my wrestling friend, how are you enjoying Liverpool? I'm loving it. Uh, I wish I had more time here, but I'm just loving the accents. I'm trying to impersonate, and I'm sure I'm offending all of you. <clears throat> but it's been a great weekend. It's nice to meet you all. <laughs> Good effort, good effort. <laughs> <laughs> we'll keep going down the line. How are you enjoying uh, Liverpool Comic Con? Annalisa. It's also been so... No, I'm not, I'm not going to try. <laughs> An Australian? I, uh, my bad. Which <laughs> Hemsworth is that? Me. <laughs> no, it's been so fun. I also wish that we could be here longer, but you guys have been so cool. Yay. It's been really cool. Tanner, what's, what's been your uh, fan interaction so far here in Liverpool? Are you enjoying it? I was so prepared to just say ditto for everything, but you oh. already... No, it's been great, obviously, because my voice is basically gone, so I've been Aww. trying to, like, talk to everybody. No, it's been amazing, so thank you guys for coming out. I really appreciate it. Yeah. Don't let him fool you. His voice is gone because he's been standing next to the wrestling ring screaming, so... Oh! Just been rooting for Paul. <laughs> Listen, the raspy voice just makes you cuter, so we're all... <laughs> Secretly going nuts right now. <laughs> Jill, how have you been enjoying Liverpool so far? It's been a blast. I've never been out here to Liverpool before, but you guys are a great crowd. I'm so excited to be here. We're all so excited to be here. And uh, let's just have some fun, shall we? Yeah? We shall. Yeah, we shall indeed. Yeah. And let me tell you, Liverpool is such a fun crowd. Give yourselves a round of applause. Not only yes. are they a rowdy, fun town, but they're really polite and just a great group of people, and it's an amazing city. But we'll start with you, Sholo. How are you? Um, obviously, we love having you here in Liverpool. Thank you for coming all this way. But uh, we'd love to hear sort of from each of you how you got into Cobra Kai, because, you know, the casting process is different for everybody. But how did it happen for you that you got cast in your role? Um, you know, it, at that time, it had kind of come along like any audition would. Uh, did the audition, the callback, and then finally I had the chance to read with the man himself, Johnny Lawrence. And yeah, 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 Yay. yeah, he's here in spirit. Um, and after that moment, I guess the guys were like, hey, these guys have a funny rapport. I got to read with Mary. We had our... our Chemistry read, I met Tanner in, in the audition room too. He was sitting on the floor with his leather jacket. He was like, yeah, what's up? I was like, oh, we're not here for the same part, definitely. <laughs> we're, you're not here for the underdog. Um, uh, but it, it was a great time. What about you, Mary? What was your... My, my audition process, I've, I've been honest about this. I, I accidentally slept through my initial audition. 
I I'm gonna yeah anyway I, they luckily they were willing to see me again um so I I ended up going in on a day where they weren't seeing any other Samantha's so I had no idea like who I was up against until I got to the chemistry read where I read with Ralph and there were like two other potential Samanthas and then there were three Miguel's that day what are you looking at bud I didn't know we were up there okay <laughs> and then uh uh, anyway, I, uh, I guess the chemistry read went well for me also. Um, and then, yeah, I got a call from Ralph Macchio a like, few days later after the like, final chemistry read. And, and he was like, you know, happy to welcome you into the LaRusso family. And I like, had to pull over the car so I didn't crash it. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's so nice. Tanner, how was it for you getting cast on Cobra Kai? Um, it was, it was, it was wonderful. I mean, yeah, it was the same thing. He said, I, when I go to auditions, I kind of shut everything out. So that's a funny thing. He's like, I remember meeting Tanner. I don't remember meeting anybody. Uh, cause I kind of shut that out of my mind. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> uh, but it was good. I had a, you know, audition callback and then I had a, um, I sound like I've been smoking for 50 years. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, and then I had a chemistry read, actually, with uh, Billy, um, and everybody was there. Uh, I had a, a conversation with Ralph, and um, kind of the same thing. A few days later, I got a call from Ralph, and I didn't know who it was. Uh, and I answered it, and he's like, it's Ralph Macchio. And I was like, hi, how's it going? He's like, congratulations. And... Um, did he say it like that, congratulations? Yeah, he was like, you were the person we had to pick, great. No, no he was excited and um, basically just told me to refresh myself on the movies again, just, you know, because there's a lot of references. Yeah. And then literally a week later, I was in Atlanta shooting. Very cool, yeah. Elise, how was it for you? Yeah, I think I got brought on pretty late. Um, and I, you know, had that audition, had a callback, and then had a test with three, with our three writers, creators, showrunners, John, Josh, and Hayden, and the best. <laughs> right. And yeah, I think like truly four days later, they flew me out to Atlanta, and I got to meet all of you, great people. Um, I had done a movie called I Tanya, and John, Josh, and Hayden liked what I did in that movie. They asked me to lunch in Culver City. And at first I was like, ugh, they're trying to make a Karate Kid sequel and it's on YouTube. Like, I don't know if this sounds good. And then I watched like three or four episodes of season one and I was, a, I was like, holy cow, this is like my new favorite show. Yeah. Um, and I remember I was weirdly, I think I was working out at the... the um, we met at the gym. Yeah, we met at the gym. We met which at the is, gym uh, at 24-Hour Fitness in Burbank, California. Yeah, dude. We met at the Sorry. gym and I was like... You're on that show, and it kind of felt weirdly faded, where I was like, I'm supposed to do this show. I'm running into Tanner Buchanan. And he was super nice, and he was training like a, you know, like a psychopath and getting in crazy shape, or maybe he already was. And then I took that lunch, and they were super nice to me, and they said, we want you to do your thing, whatever you do, and, and kind of be almost like the fan perspective of Cobra Kai, but on the show. And I was like, awesome, I can do that. Yeah, I'm a lot like Annalisa. My audition kind of happened really quickly. I sent in a self-tape from North Carolina, and I quickly did a callback in Atlanta, and then like a couple days later, I was at the table read with everyone, and then we started filming. Yay. And the rest is history. We love that. We have so many fans that are clearly very eager to ask you guys some questions. So we're going to start at microphone number one down here on the right. Hi there. You feel free to introduce yourself, guys. But just for time's sake, please no two-part questions. We just want to make sure everyone gets their questions answered today as much as we can. But we're going to go to microphone one on the right. Hello. Uh, hi, guys. I'm Adam. What was your favorite scene to film? Oh, man. Okay. We're getting started. Uh, my favorite scene to film in recent memory, I really enjoyed getting to fight with Tanner at the, the apartment complex. That was really, really fun. We kind of whipped that one up together uh, in the days coming up to the, the shoot, and I just love how interactive it was. Jumping off of things like, well, you, I didn't jump off of anything, but you did, no. and it looked cool. I really enjoyed that one, too, so I'm going to give the same answer. Oh! Oh! We think the same. It's nice. Great, Mary. <laughs> uh, I have a list, but I'm going to, for time's sake, I'll say uh, my weapons demonstration in season four 
And uh, honestly, the finale for five was super fun because I think that was the first time in a long time we all kind of got thrown into the blender again together. Yeah. I would just say in season two when I beat up kids in the hallway at the high school. <laughs> because obviously that's my favorite scene. I would say probably the prom sequence was really fun with Dimitri Gianni, who can't be here. Prom was really fun. We also did the water park scene, and we just got to lay out by the water park all day. And then we played in the water park at night. It was so much fun. Yeah, mm -hmm. that was super fun. Yeah. It was like UV6. Sorry, we get this. Never mind. Go ahead. <laughs> Great question. Thank you. Thank you. We're going to go to microphone number two here on the left. Hi there. Hi, I'm Ava. And before I ask my question, I just wanted to say happy birthday, Hannah. Thank you, thank you so much. And my question is, did you have to watch or already watch the Karate Kid films? If so, what move would you love to try and what was your favorite film? I, I think I'm probably the only one here who did not had not seen them before I booked the show, I'm sorry. But at this point, I call myself a super fan because I think I've watched every one of the, the Miyagi-verse, the first four. I think I've watched all of those uh, half a dozen times at this point. So, um, I, yeah, I know. Thank you. That's, I don't have anything else to add. <laughs> <laughs> My only frame of reference was I hadn't seen Ralph Macchio's Karate Kids, I had only seen the one with Jaden Smith. Hey, me too. So, Jaden is, is the real Karate Kid to me, and I'm sticking with it. Bro. Cry about it. Bro. Cry about it. Wow. True heel over here. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Great question. Yes. We'll go to uh, microphone number three up top on the right. Hi there. Hello. Um... When you were filming the stunt she scenes, did anyone actually get hurt? Ah, some of you already know. Which means... How are you infamously like clumsy? <laughs> you are... Because every, every time we can ask this question, you guys all out me. I out myself on yeah, a regular I basis. I, because anyway, yeah, me. I'm the one. It's nobody's fault but my own. I trip over thin air on a regular basis. So add me doing karate into the mix. Inevitably, I will end up with some injuries, but I feel like season five, I had the least amount I've ever had, right, guys? Lie and back me up. <laughs> yeah. Least amount? I actually can't think if you got hurt in season five. I don't think you did. I just got better about keeping my mouth shut. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I really got hurt before. Um, Jacob hit me once, and then I hit him back in the eye during the season four final fight between me and him. That's about it. Have we hit each other? Yeah, I've had a couple of accidents. Nothing ever on purpose, but when you're fighting, the adrenaline is so high. So you, you, you always know the day after that you got hit in a place that you weren't to because you, like, you roll over and you're like, I have a, like a plum on my hip. Yeah, I was going to say during, during our fight, season five, where you kick my leg down to the ground and I go down to the ground right at the balcony before he decides whether he's going to push me off or not. I'm so sorry. <clears throat> um, I woke up the next morning. And my left knee, uh, sorry, I didn't think about it. Maybe it was my right, I don't know which one it was. One of my knees was double the size it should have been from just going down to the ground so much, which is only me and my own fault because I just shouldn't have been going down to the ground that hard. I could have controlled that, but obviously, like you said, adrenaline just happens. Thanks, great question. Yes, thank you. Thank you. I'm going to go up to microphone number four, all the way up at the top on the left. Hello. Hi. My name's Billy, and my question is, what is your favorite stunt you have performed? Billy is here. <laughs> Hi, Dad. <laughs> um, I, I, like, I really like getting to do stunts. Sometimes They always bring the stunt guy over who just looks like a more timid version of me. And... Uh, and I never let them do anything. I'm always like, let me do this. This is the fun for me that I get to play make-believe and try to do these uh, silly fight scenes. So um, for me, my, my favorite thing I got to do was, um, was that fight scene in episode five where I just knock out Big Red and those other guys. They just they let me choreograph that with one of the guys and, and it was really just fun to do. Like I didn't want to stop doing it. I think we did it like, Five or six times. 
How did you do your stunt, Annalisa, in, in the first season? Hey, Sholo, <laughs> you really had to bring that up? Yeah, how did you guys do that? <laughs> um, that I will say that I mostly performed that stunt, so if you are familiar with a wedgie scene, <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, <laughs> and I did, we did in fact have a harness and multiple pairs of underwear. <laughs> Go watch the scene, <laughs> you know the one. <laughs> She'll be autographing them and selling them after the panel. <laughs> For extra. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Great question. Thank We're going to go to microphone number one. Oh, we have a Cobra Kai right in our midst. Give him a round ah, of applause, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> we love seeing Cobra Kai cosplay. Go ahead and ask your question, sir. So, first off, I want to say happy birthday, Hannah. I hope you have a great day. Oh, thank you so much. You um, look amazing. Like, I, I absolutely love the show. I watch it, like, every time I get the chance to. Um, I've got everyone's autograph so far that's actually came to Comic-Con, so... That, I think that's pretty cool as well. Um, I have like around, I want to say three, like three questions at the most. <laughs> so the first one is what was the fa like what was your favorite stunt to perform? I think we just did the stunt question, right? Yeah. What was your second you question, bud? Um, if you could be a Cobra Kai character, who would you be? Not last pick yourself. Terry Silver. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, <laughs> he hurt me. Yeah, that's that's Hawk. multi. Mine is Hawk. I want to be Kyler. <laughs> Daniel Larusso, so I can be a dirty car salesman and eat really good fish. <laughs> I want to be Johnny. Uh, and my third question is: Can you please say subscribe to J Boy Small? Whoa, you little advantageous boy. Yeah. <laughs> Came to play. Please subscribe to what? J-Boy Small. Please subscribe to J-Boy Small. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Give him a round of applause. Amazing cosplay here at Liverpool Comic Con. Yeah. We have another question up at the top. Microphone number three up on the top right. Hello. Hi. Um, I'm asking this question on behalf of my son who's sat there in a wheelchair and wants to know when series six is coming out. What's your Ooh. son's name? Alex. Alex, what up, buddy? He's a huge fan of yours, Paul. He's, he'll be at the uh, wrestling later and he's going to have his photo taken with you. Yeah, yeah please come he's, over. He's the Fozzy fan. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> but he wants to know when series six is coming out. Hopefully sooner than later. We got to film it first. I don't, I don't know. We got to hear the, yeah, from Mr. It. Netflix. We got to hear from, yeah, we got to, yeah, then we got to, we gotta film it, yeah, then, gotta really film it. then they got to edit it, but I think you guys will be, I don't know, once we hear something, I'm sure you guys are hearing something Help. sooner than later. Yeah, we've not been officially, officially picked up, um, so we're just waiting on that, on that green light, basically. You're making it sound suspicious, um, I already said that. What do you mean? Keep, keep putting it out into the ether. Yeah. No, but we're not keeping secrets. We really don't know when it's coming out. That's all right then. Thank you. Thank you so much. Paul, you're getting too good at that accent here. We have a question over here, microphone two on the left. My question is, is what was the most difficult fight scene to film throughout the entire show? Why don't you both put the mic at me? I, I think logistically we've tried to make it more big and the, the universe larger every every season and so it just gets more intense and more complicated in that way but I still for me it's always going to be the chaos of that season two finale the like season two episode 10 I feel like the school fight regardless of the fact that I, I, we've all kind of we've added more and more people into the mix that's the one that just stands out of my brain as being like just logistically we had like three units running at one point which means like three separate film crews basically working simultaneously in the same place, filming completely different parts of the fight to make it happen in like two days. Yeah. <clears throat> That's just going to say it, happened. it all happened in like two days. It was crazy. I'd also say season five finale was pretty crazy too. Because we had all those fights in that season five finale going on at one time and everybody was running between stages in the background and it was just a lot of chaos, but it was a lot of fun. <laughs> Thank you. Good question. We've got a question at microphone at number one here on the right. Hi. I want to say I love you so much and you made me want to do karate. And thanks, Sholo and Mary, for giving me a hug earlier. My question is, um, what actor makes you break character the most? 
Um, what? Who makes us break out of character? Um, one of your castmates. It's usually Jacob, but I hear that Tanner is also quite uh, the silly goose when it comes to uh, filming. You know me. Yeah, you are a little <laughs> silly goose. Yeah. Silly goose over here. Language. I'm kind of upset that you gave Sholo and Mary. This is a completely different topic. Sorry. Can I give you a hug too at some point? Are you a where's my hug guy right I now? I want a hug. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I'll give you a hug um, after the Q&A. Dope thing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would say, yeah, Jacob, mostly uh, for me. Uh, yeah. When we all get together, though, Paul, there's no stopping us. Paul yeah, also like, makes us crack up. We had those scenes in season five where we were all around the, like, the Dungeons and Dragons. Sorry, Dungeon Dojos and Dragons? No, Dungeons and Dojos. What was it? Yeah, I think it was Dojos and Dragons. Something like that. And we were all around the, the table having those conversations. I could not keep it together. I also kept improvising to try to make you guys laugh on purpose because I'm an idiot. And we had like um, negative 12 minutes to get that scene. I, <laughs> I, kept, I kept looking at Bert, that actor, Owen, what's his last name? Morgan. Yeah, I, I, kept, I kept looking at him and saying stuff like, you stab me in the back, Bert. You watch the blood drip down my white shirt. As my pants were wet with my own blood, you laughed at me, and you like I just kept dragging it out and saying crazy stuff, and trying to get because that actor Owen is like so he's like a little adult or something, so he just like I'm always trying to break him <laughs> and try to make him laugh because he ta he takes himself pretty seriously. Thank you, great, great question. question. Thank you so much. With a question uh, up at the top, number three on the right. Hi there. Hi. My name's Emily. If you could be any role, what would you want to be? Inside the Cobra Kai universe or just in no, general? any movie or show. Any movie or show? That's a hard question. <laughs> okay. What about, what about the ladies? Hmm. Any movie or Hannah loves yeah. the Hunger Games. Um, Game of Thrones, Lena Headey. What's her, what, what's her character oh, yeah. name? Uh -huh. Cersei. Oh, that's a good Cersei. one. Cersei, yeah, yeah. Oh, you would kill it as Cersei. <laughs> Is that a compliment? Or <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. Back in a compliment. <laughs> oh. I would kill it as yeah. Cersei, get it? But, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, God. I know he's here. I'm sorry, I'll stop talking. The baby's crying. Um, <laughs> I, I know he's here, and I've met him now a couple times, and he doesn't know it, but it's fine. I freak out every time I meet him. Is uh, Jack? I would want to play Jack's Teller, Charlie Hunnam's character in Sons of Anarchy. Um, yeah, he doesn't know it, so hopefully he's I, he's definitely. He absolutely knows it because not, he's met him and he's no, seen Tanner's he face. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. I met him. <laughs> yeah, I met him at the last con, and basically he walked through the door, and I looked over there. And I was holding a I was holding a backpack. I think I had my laptop in it, and I was holding all kinds of stuff. I looked over, and instantly just I literally dropped everything. I didn't know what to do. I physically dropped everything. Anyway, yeah, Jax Taylor and Sons of Anarchy. That'd be dope. Thank you, Emily. Thank you. I want to play Teddy Roosevelt. I'm just going to say that. I really want to play Teddy Roosevelt. I could see that. I'm going to need you to see it because it's going to happen, Val, okay? <laughs> Manifest it. Yeah, that Roosevelt dream. Hannah, do you have a character you'd like to be? Spielberg, if you're in this auditorium. <laughs> He's certainly watching on YouTube oh, for sure. Here. Yeah. I want to be I want to be Rapunzel in the live action Tangled. Wow, good one. Oh, I want to. They need to make a Treasure Planet. I'd really yes, like to Treasure be, Planet would be I want to so do Treasure Planet so badly. Yeah, a lot of things to manifest here today. We have a question all the way uh, up at the top on the left, microphone four. Um, hi, I'm Edward, and I spoke to Stingray before, and my question is. How long did it take to learn all the fighting tricks? Just in general, of like Wh which which number podium did that? Number four, four on the four. left. <laughs> number two. Four up top. Up top. Way up top, number four. I was staring at this. Like, <laughs> this dude's a ventriloquist. Wow, he's good at that. He's so good at what that. magic have we unearthed? <laughs> okay, um, how do we do the tricks, like the fighting stuff? How long, how long does it take to learn? I mean, I, I kind of just wing it. I'm not, I don't really know karate. You guys have the tough stuff to do. 
It depends. Sometimes, it, like, I'd say max we get, like, a week to work on them. Um, but, you know, with more years comes, you know, the ability to be more comfortable doing stunts and working with our stuntmen and stunt women. We, uh, we've created quite a rapport. So I, they, they trust us, and we, we're able to do stuff on the fly now pretty easily. Thank you. Good question. We're going to go to microphone number two, just down here on the left. Hello, sir. Hi. Um, before I ask my question, my brother, um, he couldn't make it, James, because of all the crowds and stuff. He's slightly autistic. His favorite character is Tanner. And if you could, the one thing he said before I went, <laughs> um, if you could just say hi to him, my mum's video and just over there. What's his name? James. 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 That's the one thing he asked me before I came. You said it. I was say, uh, where is it at? Over here. No, <laughs> me. <laughs> Sorry. We did try to keep uh, you before, but you there? wouldn't let us. Hi, James. Just saying hi. Uh, I wish you were here. But uh, uh, your brother's the best. So. Oh, thank I'll you. Say so hi. <laughs> He does his own stunts, ladies and gentlemen. Give it up for Tanner, everybody. Thank you for that. That was wonderful. Thank you. Um, and my question is, if you could pick like, any team to be on out of Cobra Kai and all the other teams, which one would it be? Topanga Karate. Topanga Karate? <laughs> uh, Miyagi-Do. Miyagi-Do. Uh, I, I just, my allegiance is to Johnny Lawrence. Wherever he's at is where I'm at, so. Aww. Yeah, we need to know what Dojo the Honestly, Cobra Kai. Oh. <laughs> anyway, Cersei. I, you go, I, I don't know yet. I can't, I'm not allowed to choose. I am against all of it. There's a, there's a famous. Cobra Kai, hugs a, not hits. <laughs> There's a famous phrase that says the the uh, enemy of my enemy is my friend. Mm. So whoever wants to beat up Terry Silver, that is who I'm siding with. <laughs> That's fair. It's more than fair. Thank you so much. Thank and thank you again, Tanner, for doing that. We're going to go to microphone number one here on the right. Hello. Hey, guys. How's it going? What's up, man? And, uh, um, um, I want to say is a uh, happy birthday, Hannah. And uh, Sholo, um, it's been great meeting you from today and yesterday. And um, I have a question for you, Sholo. Uh, now in the DC Universe as Blue Beetle, what character... Whoa, I didn't pay you to say that. Um, <laughs> what character um, of the DC Universe would you like to interact with and share screen with that you're Blue Beetle? Oh, man. Um, I don't know. I'd love to see some of the people on this stage in the DC Universe. I know Tanner looks like Red Hood. Yeah. I c we, could, we could build a Here, team Titans a up here. Yeah. Um, but... I don't know, I'd love to be, at, uh, this is so nervous, because it could happen, I don't know. Ooh. Robert Pattinson as Batman. <laughs> Woo! He's, he's really great. Peacemaker. It's just because he's a Twilight fan. He's, <laughs> yes. right, right, right. Um, anyone, dude, I, anyone, I, <laughs> put, me, put me in there with anyone. What, what about you, what do you think? Um, I reckon, um, what is it, uh, Kid Flush? Jacob! Yeah. Yeah. He should be Kid Flash. Yeah, I reckon so. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I think we're on the same page. What we gotta, other, we gotta write something, man. What other DC superheroes have you already interacted with in your movie? None. Mm hmm I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Let's see if I get that a trip was so, up. That was, I'm so nervous, I can't talk about. This. See? Oh, so there is somebody. No, I don't know. I to, uh, <laughs> I'm trying to get stuff out of him. Uh, Thanks for the question. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Tanner, stir in that pot. We're going to go to microphone at number three up at the top on the right. Hello. Hi. Can you show us some kicks, please? <laughs> Paul's got this in the bag. Like, Come on, Paul. Let's, let's see, see it. it. Yeah, you go. Listen, I've retired off? from kicking. <laughs> okay. Oh, he's taking this. Okay. Oh, it's the bare feet. Oh. <laughs> the Uggs are off. off those slippers. Uh -oh. I, got, I got this guy. You got a pedicure for this. Oh, crescent. <laughs> this guy. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Okay. oh my goodness. Dude, you're flexible. <laughs> Putting you to work. And now it's your turn. <laughs> <laughs> 
Thank you very much. We're going to go to microphone number four, all the way up at the top on the left. Hello. Hi, I've got a request, and I don't know if you can do it, but can you all take my burial with me? <laughs> yeah. Yeah? Should I go yeah. down? Can we, is take a, a what? Burial? You know what a burial oh, is? Uh, a burial. Paul knows what a burial is. I thought she said take a burial. <laughs> and I was that like, is, what the yeah. hell is happening? Don't do that. Someone dying? This is going to be the first and only be real I will ever be in. Yeah. You know what the funny thing is, is I've already done... After two. this, we're going to ask them to not perform anymore. <laughs> but let's go ahead. All righty. Wait, where are you going? I'm just okay. going. How do we do it? He wants to be front and center. I did want to be front and center. Is this for social media? Want him to cheer? <laughs> Little round of applause. Why not? <laughs> Thank you so much. I've never heard of that. We've got another student here on microphone number two. We're going to go here to the left, microphone two. Hello, you look great. Thank you. Um, my question is, um, what scene do you think your best acting is in? Ooh. I think we're all pretty hard on ourselves. If I, am, I mean, we all are pretty much, but I can t talk about the wonderful scenes that all my castmates have been in, <laughs> my very favorite moments of all of them, but uh, I had the most Fun, sorry, this sounds terrible. I had a lot of fun as an actor doing the breakup scene. Um, oh. Because it was, it, it was, we haven't really, I don't know, we haven't gotten to be that real. And it was, so it was fun to get to kind of have like a, a touch base, felt like very grounding moment. I'm going to say really quick, I, I remember vividly watching the episode, I think in season four, where Stingray throws the party. And Mary's, um, no, that wasn't it. Where was the one where you played drunk? Season two. Season two, when I throw the house party. Yeah. Yeah. In season two, you you play drunk in the bathroom or something. In the in the kitchen. In the kitchen. Yeah. yeah. And you that acting was... that's like some of the best drunk acting I've ever seen. <laughs> I'm serious. It was really good. I remember that scene uh, well and thinking it was awesome. My takeaway from that is that Paul's my biggest fan. <laughs> he remembers my drunk act. Listen, I didn't know how to pronounce her name until 20 minutes ago, so I, mean, I don't know if I'm the biggest fan. Thank you so much. You. We're going to go to microphone number one here on the right. Hello. Bless you. Hello there. My name's Craig, and um, first of all, I want to say happy birthday, Hannah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Mm, anytime. And um, my question is, since our Cobra Kai is the sequel series to the Karate Kid movies, would you ever love to see a prequel series to the Karate Kids? Like, once Cobra Kai is, like, done? Who says Cobra Kai is done? Why are you putting that out there? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to Don't mean it like that. I just mean, like, <laughs> would you just love to see a prequel series? Maybe it's about, like, Mr. Miyagi in Okinawa or, like, a, a young Daniel LaRusso, like, in New I, Jersey? I would love to see a, a Mr. Miyagi movie and, like, have it be taken seriously and not be, like, too goofy. I think that'd be awesome. Yeah. 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 Same. Thank you. Great question. Hey, Ralph could still play Baby Ralph. He could. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he could still play He's got that youthful glow. He sure does. Thank you, sir. Great question. Thank you. Thank you. We've got a question here at microphone number two on the left. Hi. Um, my name's Rebecca. And um, which characters would you think would be the best couple? Mm. That aren't already together? Um, together or broken up or whatever, you know. Um... I love Johnny and Carmen. They're my favorite. Yeah. Or, you know what? No, I'm, I'm sorry. I mean Daniel and Amanda. My parents. <laughs> That's what I said the first time. Sure. No one was recording, right? I'm going to be honest. I still want to see Daniel and Kumiko together. Whoa. Why did you... With this voice, it's so weird. Sorry. Did you just say you want my parents to break up? No. They don't have to break up. Another world. It wasn't him. It was just <laughs> the voice. <laughs> it's not really him. <laughs> Everything sounds ominous with that voice. It's kind of working. <laughs> <laughs> no, Kuko, Sinister. Kuko and and uh, Chosen now. Yeah, I know. What about Elizabeth Shue? Who should she be with? No. Between Daniel and Johnny. Neither one of them. You're Neither. stirring the pot. You're doing be. the same Neither thing that I get asked no. this question. Maybe she adopts Stingray. <laughs> not in a romantic sense. I just feel like he needs a parent, right? <laughs> Supervision. <laughs> Any other couples, everybody, that you can see together? I got a back, Dimitri and Yasmin. <laughs> Let's see more of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just giggling at this point. 
Thank you. That was a great question. <laughs> Thank you. Great question. We're going up to microphone three up at the top on the right. Hello. Hello. Um, my name is Domingos. Uh, happy birthday, Hannah. I hope Thank you enjoy the UK. Um, my question to everyone in the cast, for if you had the opportunity to write a story arc for each of your characters in season six and you had carte blanche to do what you want, what would it be? Robbie needs to win a tournament. Yeah. <laughs> That's I really, all I want. I really, You're going to win the All Valley. How are you going to win the World Tournament, bro? Oh, huh? shit. <laughs> It's not my fault that every I, time I you gonna, you've won, it's because I've been injured. It's not my fault. Hey, me too, bro. I know. I, know. I, thought, I thought you were about to come out with the Robbie Needs a Motorcycle. Oh, that's motorcycle been his, one. His I've also have been one. trying to bribe the riders for six years to give Robbie a motorcycle, and they won't do it, so that one as well. I might take the motorcycle over the tournament. You know what? I think maybe you can win a tournament and Samantha gets a motorcycle. Ooh. You just yeah, got to pull up to work one day on a motorcycle, and then they'll be like, oh, he it's, has. He does. I this have. is what oh, we've have? been missing. This is what we need. I have two motorcycles. <laughs> anyway, sorry. Yeah, that's uh, Robbie won a tournament. Just win something at least. I just want Moon to punch someone just one time. <laughs> yeah. I thought you did. You've never hit anybody in no, the show? No, not once. That's not cool. Yeah. You had a song about it. The show's got a lot of hit. And I've broken up with like three people on the show, you'd think. Season six. What about you? Yasmin and Stingray? Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I want to see Yasmin join a dojo to try to impress Dimitri, but like maybe fail miserably, but then they like ride off together into the sunset. Aww. On a motorcycle. <laughs> On a motorcycle. <laughs> Everyone has a motorcycle. I want to I see Stingray grow up a little bit and like maybe, maybe get his own place and like get on a dating app and... Maybe take part in like night school, like culinary classes or something, because I am worried about him based on how his entire life has gone so far. Who's Stingray, not me. I'm, I'm fine. Great question. Thank you so much. Thank you, Domingo. We've got a question up here at microphone four on the left. Hi, I'm Star. Um, you know the school fight? How many times did it take to rehearse when Miguel fell off the sta stairs? Um, that came together. We did a couple of different angles of that. I don't remember if my angle was the first one. I want to say potentially my stunt double, Noah Garrett, um, they had a bunch of cardboard boxes and they threw him off the edge. And then I think they set up this like apparatus that had a wire and I was almost like James Bonding it, like dun, 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 dun. That's and not James Bond. Yeah. Well, what's that? <laughs> Who is that? Possible, isn't it? Oh, Tom Cruise, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> whatever. It's you know what guy. I meant. I did the song. Um, and, and then we filmed my part and we did it in slow-mo and, and then they threw off Noah a couple more times. Yeah. They actually like... He was on a wire. They just let him go. Not uh, that high up, though. It was like, it still was pretty high up, though. <laughs> like eight. No, it, it still hurts. Um, but we probably did it three or four times. And I remember one of the takes, I was going, oh. And they're like, you don't have to say anything. You could, <laughs> you could. Like, you look dumb. Don't, yeah, please like, don't do that. <laughs> well, you're not going to, you can't hear anything in slow-mo, which I didn't know before. <laughs> Thank you. Great question. We're going to go to... Uh, Number one over here on the right. Hello, you look great. Hey guys, how's it going? I'm so glad you've uh, all come to Liverpool. Um, happy birthday to Hannah. Yay, Obviously saw you, you at Comic Con Wells. Uh, I wanted to ask, like, so like Sherlo and Tana, this is mainly for you guys, but uh, obviously with the whole Miguel Robbie situation, you know, it finally got, we sort of saw this new dynamic being established. Mm -hmm. And you, know, you just needed that one conversation. So what direction would you like to see that go, knowing that, Johnny's now kind of got stepbrothers. Well, yeah, well, now that we're stepbrothers, it's going to be weird when we start making out. Yeah. It'll, be, it'll make that whole situation a whole lot <laughs> a more. Huge weird. round of applause. Yeah, I got stuck in the washer once. I don't know. We could build There's bunk beds. There's a market beds. for that, though. There is. Yeah. We could build bunk beds for some, and we'll have so much room for activities. Right, 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 yeah, yeah. Are you call it top bunk? And did you, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, um, I never mind. That's there's kids in here. What do you think? What do you think for Robbie and Miguel? I don't know. I think that's the issue. Do you think, do you think they're just another Daniel and 
and Johnny, and they're just bound to, to butt heads again? Or you think I think they'll over? butt heads again. I just I don't think it's going to be as intense as it was. I think we're kind of stuck in a family dynamic at this point. Yeah, well, yeah uh, we got to stay together for the kid, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but when he's off to college, or she's off to college, yeah. they're off to college, then, you know, we, we can have another then conversation. Then we'll never see each other again. Yeah, we don't have to see each other again. Here we go. We don't have to stay together. What if we all happen to go to the... I don't know. Yeah, this question is, I guess, Josh, John, and Hayden, they're the masterminds, but hopefully they stay friends. That'd be nice. Oh. be really cool. Oh, cool. What a Thank lovely you. way to end things. Thank you. You look awesome, by the way. Another round of applause for our cosplayers here. Woo! Unless you've just come from class, and in that case, you look great as well. Uh, just a final word from all of you guys. I'll start with the birthday girl, Hannah, here. Uh, so just, you know, final word for your fans here and whatever you're looking forward to after Liverpool, for you especially. How are you celebrating your birthday after this? Good. So I got to celebrate last night. We went out to dinner and then and then got to explore Liverpool a little bit, and it was wonderful. Um, I don't know, guys. I'm so grateful for all of you, and we've had such a great time here. Um, and after this, I get to spend some time in Bulgaria, so I'm really excited. Very cool. Ooh. Very cool. I don't, um, this is this is only my second con ever, and it's so overwhelming to see the outpouring of love for this show that we we love making. And I, I'm just a small part of this massive cast and you guys have been so nice to me and uh and i just love getting to hang out with you and meet you um what's next i don't know i'm gonna go home to my wife and kid in la and hang out with them and do the holidays and then i got an animated film coming out next year on netflix which will be announced in a little bit and then um i did a movie with sydney sweeney uh from euphoria and white lotus that'll also be out next year yeah, um, to second Paul, also my second con, and it's been so cool. I always think that when you act, you kind of film and work in a vacuum. You just get to work with the crew and the cast, and it's so fun, but you never get to really see and connect to the people that the story is impacting. And so it's been so, so cool to be here. I'm just such a small part, but to see just all the love. You guys are so cool. So thank you. Thank you for the best con, don't tell the others. Um, <laughs> and then, yeah, next I'm gonna go home for Thanksgiving. And also in Liverpool, um, another show that I'm on that's on Netflix just dropped, so I'm gonna shamelessly plug, One of Us is Lying. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Oh, and <laughs> um, no, it's been amazing. As I was gonna say, this is only my third con, and obviously I've been having a great time because my voice is gone. Uh, all of you have been so lovely, and I've, it's been such an honor to be able to talk to everybody and hear everybody's stories and get to know uh, at least some of you for even a few seconds. Uh, so thank you for the support and coming out and <clears throat> spending your money and your time. It, it means a lot. So, ah, I love you too. Love you. <laughs> So, no, it means, it means a lot for everything that you guys do, um, and we, I really appreciate it. I know we all do. Um, and what's next? Uh, you know, I'm gonna, I'm, I need to sleep, <laughs> honestly. You guys are great, but I, I think I've only slept for like 10 hours the past five days, so. <laughs> I'm not kidding. <laughs> Yeah, I've, uh, I've had a really awesome experience. I'm, I'm also relatively new to cons. I don't know if we're listing numbers here, but at this point, I'm just going to go ahead and say still pretty new, but it's because the, the show is kind of, we got the opportunity to, to drop this show on Netflix, which was super exciting, but we've kind of, it's all happened in the midst of the pandemic, and as that's kind of getting, uh, the world's getting a little safer and we're getting to travel, I'm getting to have more and more interactions with you guys, which is incredible. I, I love hearing your stories of how, you know, the, the films, the original saga, you know, has impacted your lives, and, and therefore or have we've gotten to be kind of a small part of that world for you and that's been uh, been really exciting it's very it's I take those stories home with me and and I really appreciate them so thank you um, and then as for what's next I'm also gonna try and sleep um, I'm not gonna lie I don't I don't do that very well um, I really just like to keep going and, and working hard so I'm also gonna you know be getting back to training and in, in hopes of getting back to, to making stuff for you guys Yay. Um, closing remarks. Thank you guys. You know, it's, it's always such a pleasure. It really, sometimes when you're doing the work, like Anna was saying, it doesn't feel real until I see all you little kids coming up and saying like, oh, I do karate now. And I'm like, whoa, it, it's, it's always so, so tremendous to, to hear all of you guys and to, to get to connect with you and, and, and chat. Uh, and I'm just ready to get sloshed Absolutely sloshed after this. Sloshed, darling, yes. <laughs> <laughs>
No, I don't. I won't. <laughs> Please don't show my mom that that clip. <laughs> <laughs> we'll edit that out, right, guys? Yeah, yeah, edit yeah. that out. They're nodding. Guys, thank you so much. Some of you I have met before. I've had the pleasure of interviewing a lot of the Cobra Kai cast. And as a genuine fan, uh, for such a badass show, like, you guys are the nicest people. And I'm a big fan. So on behalf of Liverpool, thank you for being here. Thank you for the memories. <laughs> Wishing you continued success. Please keep the applause going for the cast of Cobra Kai. <laughs> Woo! That's right. We've thank got Sholo, Mary, Tanner, Annalisa. Paul and Hannah, the cast of Cobra Kai. Thank you guys so much. And don't forget, they're going to be here for the rest of guys. Sunday Funday here at Liverpool Comedy.